Hello everyone, I'm a rainbow and this is a tutorial for possibly the best free game in the app lab right now. One of my many buddies, Yidus Delitus, told me that I had to play this game. I get that a lot from different folks, but he was absolutely correct this time. Grab is a VR multiplayer game. You can climb, jump, slide, and swing through the levels to reach the end. What really makes this game unique so is, is the super easy to use editor kind of that lets you and your friends create your own levels together. Then you can publish them for everyone else to play. I absolutely love this game, but it's a little short on details for how to build, publish, and test your creations. I'm going to show you how to do all of those things and then drop you into my multiverse of madness so you can just see how everything comes together. As always, please take a second to subscribe and hit that like button. I can use all the friends that I can get, and I really appreciate the support of each and every one of you. All right, we're in grab demo. Uh, there's not a lot to the menus here. Settings, there's a few things you can change, particularly your turn speed. Um, the rest of that is not much. All right, host is if you're going to, if you want to join a game, you'll get a list of basically any of them that you can open that levels people that are in them things like that go back if you're going to host you should set a password that way random people don't jump in and it's pretty simple to get started so we show up in the lobby the lobby is built out of the same things, materials that you have here. When you jump in, you should have tutorials in here that look like that. They should probably be pre-populated. If not, I would go ahead and do all the tutorials. It's well worth your time to do them. You'll figure out how to move, kind of what the, the stuff is for. That way, I won't, I won't uh, cover that. Now, level browser. We'll hit this really quick. So I'm going to clear that list. Official levels. If there's something in there you want to play, just add it. You can go down, pick anything you want, just add it. And then when you click play, you will go through these one at a time until you finish them. You can always just come back out and clear it. Community levels. These are built. Community levels. These are built by people just like you. Some of these are very interesting. Some are not, but uh, it's kind of a grab bag. There's no real way to know, no way to, to rate these things too much. Um, if you've created any levels, they will be in there. I've got a couple in work and a couple that I've published already. And favorite levels, if you have any favorites, little stars on them, you'll see there. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to concern ourselves mostly with the level editor. We're going to jump right into that. All right, in the level editor, you show up right here. This is your starting block. There is nothing but space around here. Now, you size yourself up and down using your controllers. Lower trigger finger, if you spread apart, Things will get bigger. If you push it together, they will get smaller. Size is relative to the blocks that you have. Also on your controller, you have a little figure that looks like a pawn. You press that, you will drop out of editor mode and be in mode where you can interact with the environment that you've created. Press that button again, and you're back in editor mode. The Oculus menu on that, gives you a way to save your level, verify, and publish. We'll talk more about that later. That is also the menu that you, this is also the menu you would press if somebody joined you and you wanted them to work on it. You have to unlock them so that they can also edit rather than just watch. On your right-hand controller. All right, before we do that, these are all the building materials that you have access to. This list is actually longer than it looks. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. But it's repeated. You have all the same materials repeated in different shapes over and over. 
all right? And you basically have eight materials that you can build with. This is stone, this is climbing rock, this is ice, this is lava, this is wood, this is foliage, this is foliage with lava in it, this is disappearing rock, all right? We will kind of cover each one of those. This is a start point, a stop point, and this is a sign. All right, we're going to do this. So now we're just going to show you how to manipulate, manipulate the environment. Looking at the starting place, you see some indicators right here. If you grab the arrow, this will move the piece without changing the size. If you grab the circle and rotate it, that will change the angle. If you grab the square block, you can change the size of the piece. Now, this is all relative, how much you change to the size you are. So this is going to be a fair amount of movement because I'm so small, relatively speaking. Want to look at it, press the little pawn button, you'll drop in an editor mode. Now you see I have a plane. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to drop some materials down and then we will look at them. Now, the size of the materials is relative to the size that you are. For instance, if I'm this big, the, the, the blocks are that size. But if it's this big, they become much larger. So for demonstration purposes, the way you do this is you, you reach in there with your little cone. You squeeze the trigger finger, bring it down. We'll throw it down. And I'm just going to drop these down so you can see them. All right, I have dropped some of these materials down on the plate. I'm going to get out of editor mode. And we're going to take a look at them. So I already described what they were. But stone, we're obviously standing on it. You can't climb it. You can't go through it. doesn't hurt anything. You can build on it. Climbing rock works great with your hands. To climb on it, it's the lower trigger when you grab hold of it. It does not work with grapples. Obviously, stone doesn't work with grapples. All right. Now, you can stand on it and move on it, but it is very slippery. So if it's at an angle and you're standing on it, you will probably slip right off. It's not as bad as ice, though, which is frictionless. So I am just sliding around here. A little bit of, a little bit of action goes a long way. You cannot climb ice. You cannot use your grapples on it. This is lava. Grapples do not work. You can touch it with your hands or your little balls, but if you touch it with your body, it will send you back to whatever your start point is. This is wood. Doesn't work with grapples. However, you can climb it. You can stand on it. You can maneuver on it. It's like stone in that regard. So those are your two foundation building materials. This is foliage. Grapples work. Pull you right in. You can also climb it. You can walk on it. Now, this other green one is actually foliage and lava. Grapples work. They hook to it and they'll pull you in. But if you touch it, drops you right back out to your start position. Now, this last one's very interesting. It looks very much like the climbing rock. It has more uh, cracks in it. And when you touch it, notice it's vibrating, boom, it disappears. And if you wait a few seconds, alakazam, uh, I was close. It pops back in. It'll reset itself. Let me pop into editor mode so we can take a look at this. You notice, oops, the piece of paper and the pencil. If you click on that, you can see you can change the time that it's stable and then the, t the time that it respawn time it takes to respawn. Click to apply that, and it's there. Now, the ones that were in there were the default. So now I can actually grab hold of it, but you'll notice it starts to shake. This gives it away. The shaking gives it away. Disappears, respawns. If you're touching it, it starts to shake again immediately. All right. This is super fun to use when you're building blocks. Let's talk about publishing. To, to publish this, you need to pull up your save menu. You would save. 
Uh, you can give it any name you want. What you have to do is you have to create a level that goes from green to red if you want to publish it. And you have to verify it. To do that, this is obviously, we could publish this level. I can go from green to red and verify that. All right, but before we do that, I'm going to jump in and create another level. Ooh, I almost forgot one thing though. On our menu, we have signs. Signs are cool. You throw a sign down and just like the other, you see the pen and the paper, you click on that, brings up a keyboard. It's a sign and it's there. You can write whatever you want on signs. I would keep it clean though. All right, now I'm gonna to put together a quick level and show you how to verify and save it. All right, I have put together a little little level. We're going to save this. We'll call it test. Number of checkpoints. Ah, need to discuss that as well. We'll put that in there. Now I'm going to verify. Verify. All right. Before I get started, the checkpoints. If you click on that menu, you'll see a create checkpoint. You can actually create a checkpoint. It'll put this little deal right here. So if you fall off the edge when you're doing this, you'll go right back to that spot. Now you go back to your last checkpoint on the ice. You'll stop on the front. So drop a checkpoint. You'll see it's there. Now we have to get a, now we have to get across. Yep, I'm showing off a little bit. I just do this one-handed. So once you get from point A to point B, it will say it's verified and you can publish it if you want to. All right, I am not going to publish right now because I don't want this level out there, but I am going to close it up. All right, the last thing I'm going to cover is duplicating things. So if you grab that and you put that out there, if you grab it again and you hit the little button up under the trash can, it will duplicate it. And you can keep doing that and create the shape as many times as you want. To delete it, it's the trash can. You grab it, hit the trash can, and they'll go away. Now, what's this handy for is because it's once you've unsized yourself, trying to duplicate the exact shape can be a little annoying. But if you grab one of those items and you dupe it, you can throw more down. It's easy to do. All right, everyone, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you find it helpful. If you do, please remember to subscribe. Help me out. I appreciate everyone who takes the time to watch. Thank you very much. Now, this last bit is a run through my Multiverse of Madness. It's a level I created using the same techniques I showed you. Maybe it'll give you some ideas. It was super fun to make. Y'all be good. Take care. Rainbow out. All right. So now I've covered how to make things a little bit. You got a little bit on how to play. Let's take a look at one of these that's uh, all kinds of interesting. This is the multiverse. This is the multiverse of madness. Look at that sign telling you that already. Take a look at this bad boy. Whoa. Looks like it might be hard to do. Now, checkpoints are critical here. And because you can't put, there's a lot of uh, ice, but because there is, there's places to drop this stuff down. You just have to go in there and figure out the best way to navigate all this stuff yourself. Now, I've done this a bunch of times, so I'm familiar with it. And until I figured out...
Always drop those checkpoints. Click the button, you'll see your time. All right, that's Grab, that's me. I love the list of little ball things. All righty. Let's go get a little footage. This is a great way. This is, you're moving. I mean, it is really fast. <laughs> 